Wait, to, well, there's two people here. There is a uh, amazing soccer player and an incredible singer. And wait till the singer finds out that for Valentine's Day, I'm going to give my Valentine's Day card to this soccer player's abs. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the New England Revs, and obviously the male crush of every Cooligan and Cooligans fan, and also legitimately one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Becky G and Sebastian Legend, everybody. I mean, <laughs> thank you. Guys. Thank you so much for, for joining. I, initially, see if I was going to introduce you, I would have said it, it's Becky G and Becky G's boyfriend. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I've yeah. seen him. Uh, I've seen him uh, referred to in articles like that uh, from time to time. <laughs> Senora, Senora <laughs> Becky G. <laughs> Everybody just calls me Sebby G. And I just he goes by Sebby sometimes. Is this that, cool? That works. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, guys. This is an absolute honor, like uh, Alexis mentioned. This is, uh, look, Sebastian, you've been on the show before. Uh, yeah. This is, we're, we'll do the the proper pleasantries, but we, there's a superstar here as well that we also want to wanna talk to. Uh, but the, 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 going on this time. There's definitely a lot. <laughs> you know, it, we, we I'm, I'm trying to give you uh, both a fair amount of screen time. Uh, but uh, first, first thing, let, let's say, uh, uh, le Becky, I mean, this is, you know, in, in relation to, uh, you know, in, in your relationship. And obviously, uh, Sebastian Jet is now a member of the New England Revolution. Uh, I've heard that you will be making the move uh, to, to New England. What was it when, you know, when you first heard that? What was the first thoughts, the first impression? You know, it was quite a quick turnaround, um, as they usually are. You know, decisions like these aren't easy um, because for both of us, our careers are our life. You know, we both have been doing this for longer yeah. than we've not been doing it, basically our entire life. And so, um, you know, we both understand the weight that comes with these decisions, the sacrifice that's come throughout the years to get to these points in our careers. And so I would say I, I, I go where he goes. I support the jersey that has his last name on it. And yeah. that's Boston now. So we're going to beat down <laughs> and I and, and Becky for B. I love it. You know, the bar <laughs> on, on on the Revolution logo goes for Rebecca. It works great. It, it just, just makes it, sense. It has a nice swing to it. <laughs> You've really found some synergy. The in branding, the <laughs> opportunities are on wow. point. I love it. It's what it's what she does honestly, with everything. I don't know how she does that. She does. The New England Rebecca Bean. I mean, <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a way to merge it. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you guys, when you guys were introduced, Sebastian was still in, in London, correct? Uh, no. So the way that happened was through mutual friends. Yes, um, which uh, a friend of mine and former teammate who... You played with in London. I played with in London mm -hmm. when the first, after I'd say about close to a year of me moving here to LA, already being here, that's when I got introduced. But it's only because I moved to London that uh, early, because I, I wouldn't have met you if if I if I hadn't played there. Yeah, so if crazy. you think about How it, how incredible! Yeah, yeah, yeah insane. You know, I'm sure you have your own story, Christian. I mean, you know, but like, <laughs> honest though, like when friends play Cupid, it doesn't always work out. So the fact that we're here six years later kind of feels like, yeah, it's it's wild. <laughs> yeah, my my wife's friends are constantly telling her to leave me. Still, I mean, it's, you know, there's just there's never <laughs> like made. That's, that's true love right there. Yeah, they're just like, I'm really sorry I set you up with this guy. I didn't yeah, think it would actually work. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it, this is an interesting story because I I've read that the the way you met was uh, the mutual friend was a a, a co star from Power Rangers, right, Becky? And yeah. her guy played for. Yes, uh, West, Ham. West Ham United, yeah, uh, with me. So, I, so my the, question is, what did they say to you about Sebastian that made you interested? <laughs> like, how did they sell Sebastian? <laughs> did they say, don't stare into his eyes because you'll question every decision you've ever made? Right? <laughs> this is the interesting part of it all. Is She didn't show me not one picture of Sebastian. She didn't tell me what he did. And I didn't know the groundwork was being put on the other side of things with Jordan and Sebastian. They would mention me to him but not tell him what I did or what I look like but more would share personal stories of like interactions what type of people we are um and so 
it got to a point was a little creepy. And I told Nate, <laughs> I was like, Nate, you got to stop bringing up this Sebastian guy. It's kind of getting kind of weird. Like, you got to show me what he looks like. Or you just kind of drop it. Because we were walking by, I think it was like David's bridal or something. She's like, Bex, you want to go try on wedding dresses? He's like, but I already know you're going to marry Sebastian. And I was like, hey, just, you got to cut it. Like, this, this yeah. is <laughs> yeah. You're and, selling them um, too hard. Yeah. <laughs> but then I saw pictures of Sebastian and I was like, okay, never mind. I, I mean, look, <laughs> even... <laughs> Even when we when we saw the photos, we were like, we, you know, th- yeah. that's that's an ongoing joke. That, and this this is started it started years ago, and I, you know, we could we, we can say in front of Sebastian, say in front of Becky. We we had a rule on the show where you know a, a couple years ago there was a joke with um what was it I think Seth Blatter was making a a, a a comment about women's soccer and that the women if should wear short, shorter shorts, shorts yeah. and it would more people would watch it was really right. terrible very sexist right so we were like that's terrible and you and, and soccer players shouldn't be objectified except for Sebastian Lejet I don't know why the rules are different <laughs> yeah. for him well, but that's shorts. just how it works <laughs> I mean, I, I guarantee your ratings would people. go up. This is very nice. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! Yeah. You know, the main sponsors of Major League Soccer would go from Audi Continental Tires to Hot Baby Oil. <laughs> <laughs> Continental Tires. Oh my god! Oh man, the demographic would totally change. Absolutely. And Becky, you mentioned. When you first saw his photos, I, I'm sure they were intriguing. But wh- what did you think when you first saw his Instagram handle? That wh- wh- they love the boy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it seems like it could be like I don't know if this guy's too cocky. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah, that's. I think that's the first impression. It was definitely has. a common theme. I think throughout, like people who've met Sebastian, that like, yeah, this guy's gonna be a total like a hole for sure. <laughs> and then. I think for me, my position in this is a little different because I also do the social media thing. And I also know that there's a lot more behind a post or a lot more behind the picture. And so I never really crossed my mind to think like, oh, that username is I just thought it was catchy. I was like, OK, let's go branding. But that's great because you can look past that and find, you know, a good person uh, outside of all the other, you know, sort of uh, Instagram. Uh, like some things can feel can feel a little bit phony, but that's incredible. That's a great skill. <laughs> she can see past it all. I swear. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great. Yeah, it's a great skill she has. But no, no, it, it really is a common theme, even between teammates. Um, even before I, I signed with the Revs. I'm already like in my head, like, man, these guys are thinking, like, who the hell did we just sign? Like, who's coming <laughs> here, man? Like, they're just taking the, you know, the IG out. But I, you know, like I said before, I just have fun with it. You have fun with it. Yeah. It's, you know, it's good. And, I've uh, also taken it on, too. They always hit the fans. His fans always hit me with, like, they love the girl. They love the girl. You know, <laughs> yeah. it just, yeah. I don't know. It just happened. I don't it's even nice. know. This- yeah, I love it. There's I so much it. synergy you know between the two. Look, yeah, it all works out. It's, it's great. great. Hot and self-aware, you love to see it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm either of the two. <laughs> 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 <That's great. laughs> now that the move is happening, right, um, you've stepped into the soccer world as well, Becky. You're, a, you're now a part team owner of Angel City uh, FC. And, you know, Sebastian, you're heading back. You've played with Bruce before. Uh, You've played under Bruce before, I should say. Uh, You've played with Josie before. You know, I guess for both of you, one, how's it feel to step into the soccer world? You know, and, and be like, yo, I'm going to be an owner. I never had to play a, a minute of this game, and I'm going to be an owner. Is that how much better I got it? And then, two, how's it feel to go back with your old squad? <laughs> yeah. Me? Yeah. Well, okay. So, I mean, yeah, linking back up with Bruce, it's, um, I mean, it's been a while, right? I mean, he's the one that gave me the real opportunity since coming back from Europe. So, it's uh, it's special to me, um, or it's special for the both of us to kind of just be united again. Um, obviously, he had a successful year uh, last year, and I, you know, I just want to add to that. You know, that's kind of what the discussions that we've had, and you know, I think we're still 
figuring it out and you know the tactical side of things formation where I suit yeah Yeah. chemistry you know yesterday was just my second day and I had to play (laughs) against my old yeah with the whole squad and I had to play my first game at my old stadium against the galaxy (laughs) and it's just like an emotional roller coaster even if it's a preseason game like it's still super weird we were like in uh, in Spider Man when you're like in that par- parallel universe, and you see like Sebastian Legette fans in Galaxy jerseys, but then now you're yeah. in a new jersey and you're yeah. like Spider Man in a new suit. You're like, what? Spider Man? Yeah. 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 yeah, but um, yeah, yeah, it's a MLS yeah. verse or whatever. <laughs> MLS verse. <laughs> MLS verse. That's a good one. That's a good one. Man, you guys are huh? You guys really are. It's the only thing we got. <laughs> With Josie, I mean, man, uh, what a great addition, right? Another, uh, I think another thing Bruce um, values is experience. And I think he's, you know, just going to add to to that on this team. And um, I mean, we all, we, we've known Josie for years, you know, he, he's, he's going to be a good player and he's so useful up top. And um, yeah, as long as hopefully he just stays healthy and, and, and the squad stays healthy, I think it could, it could line up for success, but you know, one step at a time. Well, Becky, yeah, the Angel City, uh, being an owner and, uh, and all that. You know, you'd be surprised. I've got some techers up my sleeve. He's actually um... really good. He's actually really good. It's really weird. Well, we saw the, we saw the Instagram video. We saw uh, the video. You, uh, juggling recently. So the, the, uh, you, the skills, the baller skills are clearly the there. Step overs. The okay. Step overs we know, vicious. we know where Sebastian get his moves from. All right. So, <laughs> so. My favorite move. My favorite move was the 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 pin the ball against the sauna with your. Oh, yeah. with your stomach. <laughs> oh it's, that's that really was good. Do. Like, you know, it's really hard to do on the pitch because there's no saunas on the pitch. Right, so. right, right, yeah. Um, yeah, but with Angel City, you know, it's really interesting. Soccer, culturally speaking, I mean, I'm sure I should say real football, um, as a lot of, you know, in, in Latin culture, we like to say, no, this was football de real. Like, it's, it's a real sport. It's competitive. It's been around for, for so long within Latin culture. And so for me growing up, I mean, playing soccer, you weren't even really given a choice. It was like, you are going to play, um, when you're a kid. And, and it was such a fun experience for me when I was younger, but, um, going into the whole, you know, female athletes, female representation within sports as a whole, I realized that, you know, if I had that dream, that desire as a young girl to play football professionally, the opportunities of that aren't very big besides just playing for the national team, the leagues, you know, weren't as developed as mainstream as, you know, major league soccer, for instance, and and things like that. And so, um, growing up in a city like Los Angeles, that's just so indulged with so much culture. Um, and with so much talent, I just, I really wanted to, provide i guess opportunity for those next generations um for those young girls growing up in la like i did now seeing a team that they could you know dream to play for one day um and 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 rep in a in a genuine and authentic way as well so it was a little bit of that and of course you know, your, your boyfriend's a soccer player might as well <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I'm connected. I know a couple people, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 you know, we were at the Angel City FC um, uh, kit reveal. We were in the room when it was first revealed to the media. So that, it was an absolute honor for us. So, awesome. uh, you know, as far as we, you know, we've covered NWSL, uh, interviewed so many uh, uh, of its players. And it, it's, uh, I mean, it's a good business is booming for the NWSL. Uh, so it's going to, what from even from a business side, it's going to be absolutely huge. Uh, very, very, very soon. I also like to I also like the fact that we're both Latinos. He's Dominican. I'm Cuban. But even for Mexican, if you're a child, you have two options, right? You've got to be really good at the thing we love or you've got to be like Selena or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 you went out and did both. The last big soccer question is obviously uh, Sebastian Legette rep- represents the U.S. men's national team. Uh, Becky G, we all know, uh, the <laughs> lovely Mexican-American, and we know that it, it can obviously be a challenging time because, you know, the enemy is wearing your shirt. The, the, the shirt, the name on the back that you do support. Uh, but those moments for Becky 
Becky G watching uh, her man play U.S. Mexico. I mean, look, 2021, we know how it how it worked out between yes. U.S. and Mexico. But what was that feeling like? You know, would it would have been nice to like share some of those victories, or is it, <laughs> you know, is it all good that that he won all three? It's I'm so happy and so proud of him that like I didn't think ever once in my life before dating Sebastian that I would be screaming with my whole chest against the team that I <laughs> had been supporting since I was a little girl. Um, but it's personal. It's definitely personal. I mean, when you see your person go through what they go through and put in all of the time and energy that they do and the things that they sacrifice, like you want it just as bad, you know? Um, so, I mean, being, being there, uh, even for the gold cup was like such a moment because I remember like, I mean, it was all of Mexico in that stadium. It felt like, even though we were in the States, because my people, we show up, you know, we yes, really do. Right. And, um, <laughs> and even then still me, my mom, like it, my family was there. We were, we were all like Sebastian, but he did ask me, he goes, who are you rooting for? Mexico or USA? And I'm like, I'm voting for you. Yeah. Now, yeah. I want you to lose. I'm like, no, what's, I- a movie, what's a movie called Sleeping with the Enemy? Like, yeah. that's. <laughs> yeah, they're all really, they all say they're rooting for me, but they got the Mexico jerseys under like their um, entire. Yeah, if, if, if they need <laughs> to celebrate properly, they can. They have yeah. 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 Pain, yeah. but, but, but a US shirt. <laughs> Whoever wins, it's like it's a win-win situation for them. It is. I, I like the idea of like uh, you know what the U.S. W- uh, beats Mexico in two finals, and then you all go over Becky G's house for like dinner, and everyone's eating like arroz con pollo, and you have like a TV dinner microwaved in front of you. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. USA boy, <laughs> the short end of the stick. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Why is why is Sebastian yeah. eating from the dog food bowl? You know, yeah. <laughs> why is he the only fair? one in the kitty table? And you're just like, this seems rude. <laughs> uh, just, I know that's how it be though. That's how it be. But I love it, man. I mean, you know, the the it's it becomes friendly competition. You know, it's it's nice. It's nice to come home and. Like I don't know, joke around with her uncles and like you know they always give yeah, me yeah. You know, a bunch of a bunch of stick. Or, I don't know if you can swear on this, but a bunch of oh, stick. Yeah. Oh, can oh, you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of shit. A lot of shit. Give me a little, give me so much. <laughs> no matter what I play, that- good, win, loss, like it's coming. His no. uncle, your, your her uncles are probably like, oh, you know, él es de Argentina, no es americano. Está bien, está bien, hundred percent. Whatever, man, these guys, the things they come up with is is incredible. It's amazing. Even when I think nice. I'm in their good place, it's like you throw a pod really nice. But I do, I do, I do. But it's a good, it's a yeah. good family dynamic. Yeah, it's a good family dynamic. We know you guys are, have been together. You're very much in the public eye. And we thought, what a great opportunity to play the Cooligans Couple Challenge. Mm. Okay? So this oh, is going to be very simple. This is going to be very simple. We're going to ask may, you guys a couple of questions. Yeah, and you may have seen it. Uh, this trend on TikTok where the couples point at each other. We, we're going to ask you questions. And, yes. we'll, and you you guys will determine who it's is either, uh, yeah. more of the why or more of something. So, so yeah. So uh, you either so. point at the other person, whoever you think is the more blank you point at that person, whether it's yourself or the other one. Sound good? Okay. Perfect. Love that. All right. All right. So <laughs> we'll start off simple, right? It's a relationship. Between the two of you, who is the more romantic? She got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, fully you in agreement. You would imagine the, the, the singer songwriter sings love songs, probably a little bit more romantic. Yeah. I would yeah. <laughs> or the guy who's been heading a ball for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, next up. Next up. Who snores? Ooh. Ooh. Neither of us snore. I don't think any of us. I've heard you like maybe once or twice in our Same. entire whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but we're not like snores. At least not yet. Maybe when we get old. But. Yeah, maybe maybe that's a, maybe that's a get older thing. But no, I think we're both pretty good. So 
Okay, so, okay. Oh, yeah, it's also because you're both in shape. What? Okay. Yeah, I've been I've been snoring since I was like eight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Sebastian, Sebastian, I'll take your answer as uh, Becky G snores more in the relationship. Got it. We're, we're, no, we're, we're, we're it that. <laughs> that's the way we're gonna edit it. I really hope that that's our title for this episode. <laughs> that's how we're gonna edit it. <laughs> we're gonna put you with your hand going up. <laughs> Who snores more? That's when the answer from before. Uh, <laughs> how about this we'll say um i'm gonna ask this in two ways because the okay. question is who spends more money but i want to know who spends more money shopping and who spends more money at a restaurant so first who spends more money shopping oh i think it's i mean i could just answer this it's me on both of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i love this, food girl, oh i love I'll food you out. All right, yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she takes the cake on that one. Oh, yeah, that's that's sure. right, right, right. But she does it well. She does it well. She does it with class. I will say. I will. Say Very that. nice. <laughs> yeah. We Do you shop ask- for him as well? Yes. She does. She does. She's actually become a really good stylist. She's she's done very well. I, yeah. I okay. Mean, all right. I don't think it's a cheap stylist. It's it gets expensive. <laughs> you know. You just don't. You just, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like I get it for free. When New England comes down to play uh, NYCFC, we're going to have to go shopping with Becky G, bro. Because <laughs> yeah. I can use a new fit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play uh, uh, Sebastian and Tim's and, and, and baggy jeans. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, baby, yeah, hey, New York always Tim's. <laughs> Let's go forever. I know you guys got at least two pairs. Each. Okay. Oh, how about for sure. This, how about this one? Uh, who, apo- who apologizes first in an argument? Ooh. I think I know the answer to this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I know. I know. I, I think you so too. Do not. I do. I, I, no. I think it, I th- I'm very accountable. You guys, I you guys know the um the I'm gonna give it some time and then I'm gonna ask you if you want some food or something and that's my apology. But I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys know that one? Actually, <laughs> yeah. my wife is watching. That's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, is that what I do? Yeah, it's like it's always like a follow up question. It'll always be like, "So, uh, are you still gonna? Are you still planning on going to your mom's house for dinner?" Like, are you still <laughs> gonna 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 and then I'll be like, "Yeah." You know, we the- call that an olive branch in our business. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, those are olive branches. That's like I'm here to make peace. Right. Exactly. Thank you. It's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, pick up some food. You want anything? That is the apology right there. Yeah, okay? yeah. I gotta bring the food. You're right. That's a good. That's a good one. I'll try that. Very nice. How about this? Well, let's let's start an argument. Who's the messy one? Oh, <laughs> the athlete. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. You guys too, no? Yeah. Well. You, you know what? We've been traveling so much over the last two years that we now live like athletes in the sense that we never unpack. Yeah, you <laughs> just, just I live out of the you should see literally right. I mean, you can't see so it nice, on purpose, but... but literally my suitcase is like on I, li- four. I, I wear something, yeah. take it off. I put it right back in. And then like the next morning, I'll open it, put it. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly how I live now. And my wife hates it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not appealing. Last, last question of the couples challenge. Uh, and I'm. I'm ex- I'm excited to ask this one because I don't know what the answer will be. Who takes more time to get ready? Uh, no, gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> the fact She's this, thinking though. It's a close yeah. one though. No, nah, he's like really. You're almost like kind of Rep- oddly fast. Yeah, no, I'm. I would say like, you know cut, what it like is? cutting it close fast. Like what would I say? I'm a you procrastinator. You said we're leaving. Yeah, you are. So it's kind of yeah. it kind of like balances out. It's kind of like we both lose because you think <laughs> I'm actually getting ready, but me, I could be ready in two minutes, but I'll wait to the till last five two minutes. minutes before we have to leave. Yeah, if that makes any sense. I hope I'm not the only one in this chat that is. is like, <laughs> I like to think I'm pretty fast, but I've learned over the last few uh, years that I take way longer than my wife and she is flawlessly gorgeous. And I <laughs> take so much more time to look. I, I take an hour to look to get to a five. And she starts at nine and takes a few minutes to get to ten. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, I, I think I'm kind of uh, the procrastinator as well, or at least like I, I try to pack in so many objectives and tasks 
right before, right before we have to go so it's like man i'm my yes. life is productive i did so much right. <laughs> it'll be like, yeah it'll take me two minutes to get ready and then it's like the trimmers are out for the beer yeah. like, like, go. i i, I should have gone to haircut uh, yeah. <laughs> all the stress that could have been if we just started getting ready 15 minutes early the no, one man. That, yeah the one that really drives her crazy is like all right one last fifa game before before we leave you know <laughs> what let me get one more in and Let's that go. one <laughs> drives her crazy okay oh, look at this i love sebastian Lejet is like you know, an adult in the body of a teenager, just a, <laughs> just a kid who just wants to play more video games. I love it. Come yeah. on, mom. <laughs> when <laughs> <you're> <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> well, well well done uh to both of you thank you so much for uh uh the, oh, the yeah. insight and the peek behind the curtain of uh of, yeah, of, we, of, i mean we your... learned a lot about ourselves in that in those five minutes well, we have one more game given that you guys will now be making the move uh to boston well we have a little boston versus la challenge and okay. uh and what you guys uh, uh prefer so um uh okay so let's start with this um how, you you would rather eat five in one sitting lobsters or tacos Ooh. oh god oh you yeah love lobster? i love lobster so she i does. think you might have got me on that one whoa i know okay she becky g says lobster tacos <laughs> okay yeah well there's a lot of that but there won't be in this one here <laughs> uh, and and i i want you to know the reason we're asking is uh, you may not know this yet but this is really significant to this part of that uh that country is it in or out or is it dunkin donuts oh. try in and out or dunkin uh, donuts. for me dunkin Ooh. Wait, in oh wait in and out or in and out. In and out. In oh, and out. out. Like in or out. This Dunkin is, I've never heard of an in or out. <laughs> oh, my bad. I've never had Dunkin' Donuts. So I can't say. I guess really? never had Dunkin' Donut. And okay. in and out in and out's like um I feel like a Dunkin' Donuts, like it would be more of like a what's like a LA coffee shop that like does food too, like fast food, like like a Starbucks or something. <laughs> Starbucks. Like, but you know um, what I mean? Cause like In and Out's like food food, like yeah, like and then Dunkin's food. like I go to Dunkin' for coffee. Is there like a Dunkin'. burger joint in the East Coast that's very popular? That Isn't would like White Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Shake Shack's more a New York thing. Okay, but I want you to know, people in in Boston think of Dunkin' Donuts as a church, not just a yeah, it's, 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 it's a holy grail. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, yeah. I, I, I'm looking for. I'll have a donut. Uh, the you know, I'll, I'll I'll pick a cheat day. I promise you guys, I will I will try. It. I will try. Okay. That. And here's the real secret. Both Dunkin' Donuts coffee and In-N-Out milkshakes, they both make you go to the bathroom. So uh, really, it's the same thing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, look at that. Dunkin' Donuts makes your, your milkshake go in and out. Look at that. I just put it all together. <laughs> wow. I mean, we, we, with so many joint marketing campaigns, that it's really incredible. I, Becky, Becky's inspiring us. Uh, next up. Ne next up. Better Stadium. Fenway Park or the Rose Bowl? Ooh. Ooh. Man. I mean, Fenway, Fenway Park also is a, is a, is a, is a, it's like a monument, right? It's like a historic, uh, yeah, monument. Yeah, yeah, it's I would like say a whole, Fenway would take it on that one. Yeah. Rose Bowl is obviously beautiful, historic and, and historic. Pasadena's beautiful place. Yeah. But I think from what I hear, um, and it's one of the first things I want to do when I get there. So yeah. I, I would say Fenway, but yeah, I, I would show Boston some love on that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I did the tour of Fenway Park. It, Absolutely legendary. And then, yeah, obviously, so many incredible Dominican baseball players have gone through that building. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're not biased yeah, at all. To me. You're not biased yeah. at all. As a Yankee fan, I just did the tour through the playoffs when we beat them every year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, this one, we're going to go back to the, the history of each city. So what do we prefer, England or Mexico? Oh, Mexico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I a difficult answer. <laughs> I got love. I got. I got love for England, but Mexico. I love the culture. It's just too good. I like it. Very cool. Yeah, the food, the <laughs> you know, the women, obviously, <laughs> families, in laws, right? You put it all in, buddy. Come on. 
The woman, whatever. The woman, not women. Women is many. Woman is you know, one. Yeah, just one. Well, he meant your mom as well. <laughs> Any other females in your family? He's talking about the Becky G family. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's you totally what you meant. I got you. Last one. Uh, you're both now directing a movie. Who is the leading actor you're picking? Ooh. Is it Leo DiCaprio or Mark Wahlberg? Ooh, hmm. Leo. I go Mark. <laughs> I go Mark Wahlberg. Ooh, yeah, we're we're di- we're divided on that one. We're okay, maybe we, we just put them both. We we budget it out. That's a big budget. Yeah, that's a Buddy cop movie. <laughs> Obviously, you have a billion fans. We have a group of fans. Uh, they're our supporters group. They call themselves Gully Squad. We gave them a chance to ask you guys a couple of questions. We got a lot, so we can't go to all of them. But uh, we did have a, a couple of uh, questions that are really funny, one of which came from uh, MJ Lee, who said, uh, this is for Becky. Uh, what do you do? Actually, both of you can answer for the uh, what happens in the, in the reverse situation. But Becky, what do you do when men or women hit on Sebastian in front of you? <laughs> <laughs> and I asked that question because we did at the beginning of this, show, this interview. <laughs> that is I amazing. think, you know, I'm a, I'm a person, I'm a true believer in, uh, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So oh. like to, to give a compliment, I think is something that like we should do more often. Like, you know what I mean? Like giving compliments mm-hmm. when you acknowledge someone, they're putting effort into, you know, how they did their hair, they got a nice haircut, whatever. Like, I love that stuff. You know, and and I'm also like half naked in a lot of my music videos. And he, this guy could very easily be like, that's not cool, you know, but like he's supportive. He's like, I know what I got, you know, so I feel like um, for me, I take it as a compliment even to me because I feel very lucky to be with him. So I don't get too offended. I think it's when people cross a boundary, cross a line in a way that like, you know, is like disrespectful. But it starts to feel a little different. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm sorry I gave uh, your your man's abs a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. This question comes from Dennis Higgins. Uh, he is a DC United fan. He asked the question, does, uh, does Becky plan her quote-unquote season for when Sebastian's in full MLS swing? That way you can maximize off-season downtime. Or are both of your schedules haywire and you just take it where you can get it with quality time? That's a great question. Um, I think it's haywire. It's crazy. It's a mess. It's all over the place. <laughs> we both have like our own, you know, managers and they're in contact and they're always doing scheduling and trying to figure Helping out when us this, yeah. Yeah. scheduling each other. That's amazing. That's- yeah. It's like, it's so, hel- it's it's so helpful. It's super real. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's just this under, I don't know how we do it. When people ask me like, Oh, you know, how do you guys do it? I don't know. It's just a kind of a way of life. And you kind of, we've accepted it a long time ago and we kind of just roll with the punches, man. And we just, you know, uh, and we look forward to those times, you know, yeah. like right now, thankfully we're doing preseason in LA and, you know, we're trying to squeeze all, all, all the all juice, can, all yeah. the juice, you know, and, and, ju- and just try to figure it out and, and enjoy ourselves. Because the reality is, especially with this move, you know, we're going to see each other a lot, a lot less. But, you know, we're, we're, you got to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. You make it work. All right. Uh, this question is from Andrew Johnson. Uh, this is for Sebastian. Um, look, you're with someone who's an incredible dancer. You can five billion people has seen it on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but who, which of your teammates, past or present, <laughs> is the worst teammate? I'm sorry, the worst dancer. <laughs> no, that's the first one, too. <laughs> Who's the worst da- da- dancing worst teammate? Dancer. I have the best one. Ooh, who's the best? Jonah. Oh, John Dos Santos. Jonah. Dos Santos Jonah is the best, best dancer. He's the best. Really? Yeah. Him he, on the off seasons, like one of my favorite. There's no limit. There's just no limit. You just you just, and you very unpredictable. You don't know where you're gonna get. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I like that. <laughs> he should be proud of that. Mm-hmm. Proud of that award. Who is the worst? Oh my God. Who could it be? You know what? But you know this being a guy, man. Like you know, guys don't. I don't know why we just don't. Exp- 
sometimes we don't express ourselves that way. Like we just don't like even in the locker room. Like it's very rare to Bro, see a guy really speak go for, for yourself, it. dog. Yeah, okay, dog. I, I get will in. Oh, right, 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 right. Anybody Bro. at any Yo, opportunity, my, bro. My oh, hips got their own blood flow. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 yeah, they're gonna throw, okay, they're gonna throw really, a That's a funny question. That is a funny question. Yeah. I can't. Let's just say there's there's more bad than good. It was way more bad than good. Okay. I, Too many. I, you know, I, I definitely try. I definitely try, but you know, I got a dancing teacher here though. Like she, whenever we dance, she's always like, "All right, all right, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. You know the step. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Just like stop stepping on my feet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. La- last question. Uh, this is from Jose. He asked the question. Uh, 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 oh wait, he asked. Uh, uh, he goes, "I don't want to break up the relationship, but which is better?" L.A. tacos or San Francisco burritos? Ooh. That's yeah, really Becky's L.A. Though. Whoever that is, whoever that is, really knows that San Francisco has the burritos. That's that's why. Well, oh, for sure. Mission Stop that. Burritos are fire. Yeah, he's they're saying crazy. He's some amazing spots in, yeah. in the Bay that are so fire. I'm trying to think, burritos are definitely more expensive. <laughs> um, I, I know a place in San Francisco, La Taqueria, who's very, very old school, been there for years and years and years. You know, cash only, baby. Yeah, cash only, very old school. Um, you know, they, like only take, they only take pesos, they, they, they don't even take dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Farolito, Cancun, if I remember. That's like, Why would that's, they... Yeah, Farolito's like you go to the club and that's like 2 a.m., 2 a. 3 a.m., yeah. you know, you go to town. Uh, not that I've done that. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I went to but Cancun you, and you could get a regular burrito or a super burrito. And I just ordered a carne asada. And the guy's like, one carne asada, super burrito. And I was like, wait, <laughs> I didn't say. And he just looked at me. He's like, no, we knew. <laughs> you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we knew, it's, your, it, it's your first yeah. time here, but you're a regular. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> we saved you a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, I do want to talk about your music career. I'm a huge fan. And and also, not only do you make awesome music, but then the the the, the people that you have collabed with, it is just ridiculous. I'm like, I, if I look at if I if I look at Becky G's contact list, I'm like, how does she know all these people? This is unbelievable. <laughs> but I, I honestly, one of the first songs I heard from you that I really, really loved was uh, Mayores with uh you did that with Bad Bunny. And and this was when Bad Bunny wasn't bad bunny right like he was the guy he was coming up people i mean it, we i like this music he didn't have an album yet but he was on every featured on everything everybody knew that he was about to be the next big thing but you uh you, you, this song especially on youtube has two billion views so many people <laughs> love this song um but just when uh, let's talk about like the then and now because i saw on youtube you left a comment like four years later can't believe you know where where we be, you know where we where we are now but from when you made that song to now and seeing for your own career and even his career, what what are some of your first thoughts when I even asked that question? Um, well, I just feel so blessed, man. Like, it's so crazy. Like, I mean, going back to, like, the, the top half of this interview when I mentioned, like, Seb and I have been doing what we both do for so long. Like, it's kind of wild to think about how young we are still but how long we've been doing what we do. And it's only until someone brings it to your attention or when someone says, oh, an overnight success. And you're like, actually, no, let me do the math here. I've been doing this for most of my life. This is like, you know, 10 years in the making. This is something that I've I've dedicated every single living, breathing moment to. And so when a song like Mayores breaks boxes within the industry, not just for women, but for Latinos, um, it it was like a historical moment and to be a part of that, to be a creator in that, I think is, um, is something that I'll forever be proud of, to be honest. And, and it's kind of part of like my, um, pillar as an artist too, you know? Sebastian Legette, Becky G, thank you so much for joining us. This has been an absolute blast. I hope you guys had fun. This was super, super cool of you. Thank you so much for taking the time. Is there anything you want to let people know about before we let you go? Or plug anything at all? Follow us on the gram. <laughs> at, at they love the boy. They love the My boy. I am me. <laughs> you know, you can accompany the... 50 million followers that oh, she has and you, you know you will enjoy 30, her content. 30. it's almost 30 you will enjoy her content i will <laughs> promise you that. 
<laughs> no, thank okay. you guys. Thank you guys yeah. so much for your guys' time. And although you guys said at the top of the interview that you guys probably, uh, you know, I, I was I, that I wasn't familiar with your guys' work. I actually, I'm like the biggest Sebastian Legette fan. So I had heard that interview and you guys, you know, doing your guys' thing. And, and so to be here with him is, is really awesome. And we really appreciate it. So, yeah, thanks, guys. And for, for my second time, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. All right. Shout out to Sebastian Legette and Becky G. Absolutely honored to have them on the show. That was super cool uh, of, of, of both of them. They're starting a, a new chapter in their lives by going to Boston. Mm. And, and so are we, by the way. Remember we said there was going to be a big announcement? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is the the last episode of The Cooligans on Fubo Sports Network. Uh, How crazy is that? It's pretty wild. <laughs> uh, but we Oh, no, we should have told the producers. They're in our ear <laughs> right now. <laughs> hey, you're going to have to find another another Uh-oh. gig. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, look, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, we don't have too much time to talk about all, like, the details. But uh, please go to our YouTube channel where we have a longer uh, announcement and kind of explaining uh, like what the future uh, this show is not going anywhere uh, the Cooligans are not going anywhere we're going to be doing uh, a lot more stuff a lot more content everyone who's helped get us to this point absolutely amazing now it's our it's our turn to grab that baton and try to run even further with it so we want all of you to come along for that so you just have to go to our YouTube go to our YouTube right now youtube.com slash soccer cooligans so if you're watching this it premieres in only a few minutes um, it'll explain a lot more about what's happening, what our next step is, because I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. Shout out to everyone at Fubo. Thank you again uh, for the opportunity. And again, go to our YouTube channel for, uh, you know, uh, just some a little bit more news. All right. So for the last time on Fubo Sports Network, uh, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. And together, what are we? The, the Cool